in December of 1993, five days before Christmas, my 15-year-old son, Lewis Brown, was shot. He was caught in a crossfire um, right here in Fields Corner. The mayor came by the house. I had no clue prior to 1993. Politics really didn't mean anything to me. You know, and the mayor came and introduced himself and really was a part. And his statements were, you know, my condolences, I really don't know what to do. How can I help? And those words to me were truly um, telling. And at that time, what I needed, my mother and my uh, daughter, who was four and a half years old, were in Honduras, Central America. And, you know, they're both U.S. citizens, and I needed to get them back into the United States as quickly as possible. And he made it happen. And then him and former Commissioner Paul Evans both also attended the funeral service. And I remember walking out, and as we were being let out, um, St. Leo's Parish, that they try to usher him out, you know, dignitaries out first. And again, remember him just doing this, no, you know, let the family go first. Watching someone in his position who decided, this is not about me, this is really about the family. And, and that was it, and we, you know, kind of stayed connected. Tom and Eno was, uh, you know, was a guy you'd like to have a beer with who didn't drink, <laughs> you know. You could hang with hang with Tommy, you know, go to a game with him, and, you know, God knows uh, he was <laughs> the worst golfer I've ever played with, him. And but he enjoyed the time on the course. I mean, I don't recall him ever having a cup of coffee in front of him. I mean, at one time, I, th I think he drank some soda and the doctor said it wasn't good for him. He stopped drinking soda, went to juice, the doctor said it wasn't good for him, he ended up drinking water. I mean, I, but I, I don't recall him drinking coffee either. If there was one person that didn't need to be caffeinated, it was Tom and Eno, okay? <laughs> you know, and he never stopped working. Never, ever, ever stopped working. He get on the phone with me and says, "I did a little good today. You know, I, I did something good today." I, I think he sensed that there was accomplishment, but he, he wasn't satisfied. He, he was never satisfied. There was more to be done. He, he just ran out of time. He never got a chance to really take uh, that victory lap and just relax and look around and say, "You know, uh, you know, a pebble in, in a lake makes." A, a, the waves, but I mean, he was like a comet hitting the lake, <laughs> you know. It just, he's touched so many people in so many different ways in the city. Angels may, may sing in heaven and, and demons may curse in hell, but on the planet Earth, the mayor was there to make the difference in the lives of people. He was so tough, right? He was tough to work for. And because he was so demanding and he, and he would say, you know, he would say to others, he would say to me constantly, um, you should be throwing uh, rather than catching, you know? And so that spoke to, you know, people are hurting, people need us, um, we, we gotta push harder, right? And even if you think that what you're doing is making a difference, it's not, it's not enough. You gotta keep pushing. His presence in Bolton and Geneva, which is a very tough, uh, socially, economically challenged neighborhood, his presence there constantly uh, really made a difference and really made an impression on me. And we had set up some late evening activities, if you will, and he took his cabinet out. And it must have been 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. We spent like two or three hours out. I think we were near Bolton and Geneva, and um, the kids started like, calling out of the window. Menino, Menino, Menino. And the parents came out out of their houses. And we we're just walking, you know, walking down the street. Menino, Menino, Menino. And he's, he's standing next to me. And, um, and he kept saying, um, I'm just a kid from Hyde Park. I'm just a kid from Hyde Park. I'm just a kid from Hyde Park. And I was like, wow, um, th this man just gets it. <laughs> you know, he gets to that level that many people just don't.